I'm actually going the wrong way. Turns out it was 10 kilometers the other direction. So, we've got some papayas up there, and I love papaya. I only found out I liked it when I came to Thailand. Uh, basically, I've been meaning to climb it for ages, and I just never got around to it, so yeah, I'm just climb Cool, so my plan is, I'm in Thailand, I need to hitchhike to Laos. So I'm in Pai, if I can like hitchhike into the top left corner of Laos, and I won't have a clue where I am, but then I kind of have to go, woo! Do like a little loop down to BNTN. I feel like we've kind of messed about a bit too much now. It's not, still not actually finished packing. I need to check out this place. But yeah, we got papayas. So it um, be a very nutritious and healthy breakfast. Um, but I'm just going to finish packing. Uh, let's begin the journey. Chiang Mai, first stop, 133 kilometers. We got our papaya. <laughs> Mitch in the distance. He's just going to Chiang Mai. Then, oh, he got me. <laughs> Yeah, he's just going to Chiang Mai and then we're parting ways. This is the symbol in Asia for hitchhiking, so we might be doing this for a while. Mitch, what's your estimation on time? I think we're right, about three hours. Maybe we stay for 20 minutes, half an hour. So good. All right, so we got to 10 to 3 to hopefully get a ride. Ah, wait, what? Was he just waving? What's he saying? No, I'm waving, but he's not I thought that was the one because the geezer in the passenger seat was like, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my days. Uh, Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai. Oh. Ah, yeah. come! Cool. <laughs> Keep your papaya safe. Yeah, cool. yeah, that was uh, 10 minutes exactly. I'm pretty impressed with that to be fair. Yeah, man. Too right. We've made it to Chiang Mai. Thank you, Copper Makap. Goodbye. Off there you go. Uh, yeah, I can't actually go any further until tomorrow because I have a x-ray on my chest. Okay, so yeah, we're basically at our hostel. Just gonna hunger down for the night, relax, chill. And tomorrow the journey continues. 40 cap. Always done. So yeah, I've finished that a little bit later than expected. The time is 12.40. The aim is to at least get to Chiang Rai. However, we now want to move again, and that's what's important. I think the more out of the city I get, the more likely it is I'm mean, to get a ride. And right now, I'm pretty much dead in the center. Ready, Kat? Chiang Rai? Couple. Yeah. Ah, couple of my cab. One eye on there, just in case he ends up taking me the wrong way. Okay, so my friend here, I think he's a bit tired on the bike. Thank you. Off he goes, back at the side of the road. Okay, so slight change of plan. The guy started asking for more money. He asked for some when we stopped at a petrol station. We pull over to this side place and he's asking for more money again. And I'm kind of, you know, a bit confused. I'm thinking, I've already given you some money, bro. I didn't think he was gonna ask for any money at all. Basically, the guy's gone. I've been told I still got three hours to go until I reach Chiang Rai, which is the next destination. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm still happy the guy got some money. It all worked out okay. And most importantly, I'm ready to hit the road again. starting to hurt now, but I mean there's only one direction that this road goes, so there's bound to be someone that's willing to take me to Chiang Rai. We've got a ride boys, it took a while. Copper Maka. Okay. Chiang Rai? Yeah. Oh, you, have, you have family? Yeah, I have family. I already have. Me? I know I have kids. No, no yeah, I, know. I know I have kids for maybe 10 years. <laughs> Long time. We're literally just about there, and one of the main attractions in Chiang Rai, where I am, is the White Palace. And basically, the guy that's giving me a lift, very kindly taking me to show me 
because he knows I'm not in Chiang Rai for long. So now I'm just staring at a crazy white palace. Okay, see you later. Thank you uh, very much for your help. Your name, sorry? Kang. Kang. Yeah. It was lovely to meet you, Kang. Uh, and uh, off he goes. Okay, so boys and girls, I'm now out getting some food, getting some grub, filling the belly. One thing I'm really enjoying is that this adventure is helping me be so much more spontaneous. It makes you realise that when you put yourself out of your comfort zone, you really start to grow. And over the last couple of days, I'm really experiencing a lot of self-love. You know, I'm feeling good that I'm able to sort this out for myself and, you know, just make the most of it, even when it's going wrong. Yeah, life is very good at the moment. I've decided to make a very quick and spontaneous trip to the night market here. I've only got one night in Chiang Rai and I've never been here before and I most likely won't be here for a very long time if ever. I'm going to just see what the fuss is all about and have a little explore, see what's going on. Bro, right. I've been walking down this, this night market for like 30 minutes. It's just never ending. Yo, what's going on over here boys? We're allowed to go join? Yeah, it's really good, yeah. Yeah, man! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a great doing. Just like that, we're out of the market and now we're on the walk home. Okay, I don't actually know where I'm going tomorrow yet or what I'm doing in regards to getting to the last border. Now I'm gonna quickly go back, make a plan of action, and then go to bed. So, plan decided. Current location, Chiang Rai. Destination for tomorrow, Chiang Kong. Try and hitch up down here, back up here, to here, where the Laos border is. And that's where I can get into the country. However, I've been told that very few Thai people actually drive to the border because they don't go to Laos. So I've been strongly advised to take the bus there, to which I'm still going to hitchhike. Uh, it's currently 10.21. I've got some pancakes waiting for me in the morning, so I'm going to go get some rest. As I've been saying every day, the journey will continue. Good night, guys. <laughs> 